Hello, my lovely Leo. How are you, loves? I hope everybody is well. Leo, welcome to your reading for this weekend. This is a weekend reading since it's a very important reading and weekend as well. We do have a full moon. It's a full back moon. This is a full moon in Capricorn. And as well, we have an eclipse. The energies are strong this weekend. And just not forget, we have moved our energies in the Capricorn energies, but as well, we're still in Cancerian season. And as well, we're still in retrograde. Venus gone direct, but the retrograde is still happening here. So it's very much an energy like Take care of your feelings, take care of your things and around your family. But let's see here, Leo, what we got for this weekend? For some of you might be a full moon reading, for some of you might be just a weekend reading. Take what resonates, loves, leave what doesn't. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising Signs and Venus Signs. I'm using the oracles for the Garden Dragons. Energies from the Dragons. We have Strength. This is your energy, very much. And I feel here there is something here you can overcome. Also, there might be a, a test saying that. There might be something here you might feel like, no, I cannot do it. Yes, you can do it. Underneath we have squash dragon, opinions. For some of you, your opinion with somebody's opinion or the way you do things might be different than others. So Spirit says, take your time and don't judge. And as well, don't take conclusions before you do know. In anything, you just need to be very more like, let me take more time and see what I can do in this situation. But let's see here, spinach dragon, what means to you? and how that spinach dragon is affecting you the mystical meaning for this beautiful dragon this friendly little garden dragon brings unexpected strength just when you need it the most when you are feeling down and small the spinach dragon lifts you up and fortifies you so you can face any challenges with renewed vigor and confidence let this little garden hook inspire you to tap into the self-empowerment waiting to be discovered i feel here you you might not know your true power but this dragon is telling you yes you got everything it takes inside you it's like you are the strength energy and as well you are the magician energy you have everything it takes to move forward but let's see here, my love, so what we got for you from the Gilded Reverie, Gilded Tarot Royale energy. Let's see, Leo, what's the energy for you? Sun, Moon, Rising Signs and Venus Signs. We have the Judgment pop out. Whatever you do, I feel here there's a realization here for many of you Leos that yes, I can make it. I have everything inside me. For some of you, there is a reconciliation here with somebody. Judgment is talking us about reconciliation. Things comes back around. For some of you, might come the same situation with somebody, but in a different form or another. Also, there is something here. It's like wake up things is like wake up for what you need to okay but let's see here overall energy for this energy is knight of pentacles moving slowly for some of you you are connected with an earth doesn't need to be but i feel here it's like one step at a time is your best it's, it's your best advice. For some of you, definitely you are connected with the Virgo. But I feel here you got the time to reflect and see where you're going, where you're hitting, basically. And it's like one step at a time will give you more time to reflect and see the right direction. Okay? Let's see. Nine of Pentacles. Wheel of Fortune. Definitely something here comes around to you. 
let's see here six of cups we have three cards coming back here four of wands sun wow you might connect very strongly with a Virgo here or with a with a Sag here you are strength energy here eight of wands there is more communication coming in here yes you are very strong connected here with could be a Sag I see Sag I see another Leo could be another fire sign or an earth sign and I feel here there is a strong attraction between you two it's a strong big desire to come this person is an extravaganza you are very happy to see this person I don't see any negativity in here I don't see any bad cards actually they are probably one of the best cards for you Leo coming up for you here let me show you here look at that how beautiful this can be this person is single wants to come back to you and be together there is something here man is like whatever was in the past needs to overcome you could know this person like since you were children since you were little kids but I feel here the communication were not very much although one of you comes up like more calculate is like calculating everything definitely the opinions might be very different and I feel here you might be the one who be the host in this reunion this coming back here but it's coming here like new thing you could know this person since you were children or you could spend a childhood together here but the attraction physical attraction it's in it's impressive here it's coming here in the matter of weeks for some of you it's the matter of days this person but I feel here could be for some of you a new person enters into your life and is like a like a hurricane coming in here Leo okay and it's like sweeping yourself out this person really is extravaganza you more like you know things like that but your energy is very very abiting here but one of you wants to move fast another of you have to move slower okay so the energies are a little like different that's why probably the opinions are different but I feel here there is a thing here with the strength overcoming things overcoming differences between you two if you really want to work things out but I feel here this connection it's absolutely beautiful okay one of you you could be a very talkative person the other person might be a little shy a little more like one of you is extrovert one of you is introvert one of you likes to talk hours the other one is just like to the point but I see here the smile on your face the happiness on your face could be a strong soulmate for some of you it's a karmic soulmate for some of you it's a twin energy here but definitely if you not ever met this person there is a past life energy here lingering here you will know this person as they come here for some of you you you've been taking your time to to enjoy yourself enjoy your life and it's just like I've been saving myself for the right person but this person when it's coming it's it's incredible it's incredible but also it shows me here have patience if you really want to be with this person because it's the desire like I want to be with you they are two single people here for some of you you might spend a childhood together for some of you, you might be friends of the friends or of the friend family friends type here but that person who's coming towards you it is a single person it's very manner like good manners like very gallant I see it very yes I do see they love extravagant they could love you know the luxuries you know things like that for you is more like the comfort for the other person 
that could be the difference between you two because that person really believes in tangible things. You more like in a joyful energy here. Like how how little children are happy for the small things. The person you are connecting, they look they look luxury. Also they they like the high standards things. They are having a high standards. For some of you, yes, this person really loves you, really is attractive to you, but they might not really showing that, okay? Because we have this hermit right here. But let's see here why this Knight of Pentacles comes here. Air of Swords. This person doesn't know how better or how to do it, although they are honest to you. Okay, there is honesty here, whatever is here, but whatever is here, they they like to work things here with you, but they don't really know what you like. They could be very stingy. It's like, I'm not sure, that's why I'm single for so long, because I don't know how the relationship works. And for some of you, Leos, this person is, is like, I want to work a relationship. I don't know how, but I don't want to even be stuck in that energy like how to move forward, where to move forward. It's like they are more like like to be free, but at the same time wants to share that things with somebody. Another uh, term, they don't want to be pressured of any kind. Like that's why the the energy is here, that's why they want to go slow they do look for long term yes they are looking for long term but they don't really know if this could work because they they are very independent very much on they are you know lying and they don't want to be you know you know swap on the other side i feel here for you you feel they are the right one for you and you very much are in tune with this also, this person might have other obligations. They might could have a business or something here. They are very much into back and forth, back and forth. But it shows me here that if you go to an agreement very good, this could work perfectly in here. It's kind of you both need to learn from each other. There's an energy here, yes, the opposites attract. But I feel here it's a very, very positive energy. For, for many of you, this could be a new person with so much positivity here, but they have, um, how they say, like, this is my weakness energy. I don't know how to make a relationship to work, even I wanna put work into. That's kind of things. That's why they a little like shy and moving slow and things like that. But I feel here, there is something here. It's clicking right away between you two, Leo. So if you have patience and strength to move forward, keep doing. That's a good, good connection. All right, Leo. I feel here a long time. We didn't have such a great and positive reading, but here we are. This is a very good weekend for many many of you and I see here the intimacy the go-getting there's like spending time together outside so yeah that's good energy all right Leo blessings to all of you and have an awesome weekend ahead take care of you and we'll see you next time namaste